Hi Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Um, this is part of a series of bonus messages that I'm giving you just because uh, you guys are extraordinary and uh, all the likes and the subscribes and the comments have meant so much and so this is the least I can do. So these messages are timeless. They're meant to find you exactly when they're meant to find you. Of course, only take what resonates. Tarot is meant to be a vehicle for self-exploration. When things resonate, there's a reason. When they don't, there's a reason. So we'll make that deal together that we're going to honor that. And if you'd like for me to pray for you, say hi in the comment section. Even an emoji makes a difference. That way I can, uh, I've got something that I can uh, focus on that represents your energy. And I encourage all of you guys to do that. Only taking the cards that fly out on their own. Timeless message that Capricorn needs to know. Please make it clear. If they fly out in reverse, I read them that way. Timeless message for the Capricorns watching this video now. Please make it clear. Ooh. Got the strength card. Ace of Cups. Wow, you guys. I have to get some clarity on this, but we have the strength card. We've got the nine of cups. Very, very happy. Look at all this yellow, you guys. And we have the collaborative card of the three of pentacles. Now that could be your coworkers or you collaborating with somebody on a project. Could also be online dating. So um, <laughs> just have to throw it out there. And then we've got the ace of cups upside down. So this is gonna be an interesting message. Whatever happens, I mean, you end up, this is, there is this wild happiness and this self-satisfaction there. So I would say um, it's looking good. If you get a chance, please hit the like button. Um, that I have to ask you for. I've got to remember. It makes such a huge difference. Strength card. All right, you guys. Okay, wants to come out. Nine of Cups. Okay. Wow, cool. You're strong. Your strength overrides. I'm leaving it all in the dust. Flipping but not flying. That was the Page of Wands. Just traveling through. Floating out, we have the Page of Cups. Ooh, so you're going to be... I'm just going to stop it right now and just tell you. I think that the Capricorns I'm talking to had a really, um, they're coming out of a conflict. They're coming out of maybe a place where they're being ignored or they're being outcast, somehow ostracized. Um, they felt either way uh, misunderstood possibly. And I love that these, that this, that message, you know, coming out of that conflict and being kind of feeling scarcity or outcast or misunderstood is being sandwiched between strength, intuition, I feel like it can't touch you. And if at one point it could, it can't touch you any longer. You're getting, you're gaining momentum. I feel like this is like a sense of like looking at your past and shrugging it off. We've got the nine of cups, happy, happy, but we've got something being hidden here. Um, and this wildly positive card of the page of cups. What is being hidden? Because it doesn't feel negative. It feels like this wonderful twist. Is that three of swords? Oh no, it's Hierophant. Commitments. King of Wands. Conflict. Hermit. I Again, like I feel like nothing can get you down kind of thing. Um, what is this seven of swords? Bear with me, you guys. This message is very interesting. It is the lover's card. Could be a choice you must make here. Again, you got the hermit card, which is about going inward, listening to, this is you with your hierophant card and the hermit. This is you kind of falling back on your bottom line, your integrity, your code of conduct, your belief system. You know, despite what's been done to you, despite the energies around you, you have your baseline of how you treat others, how you treat yourself. And this is also you um, applying it to yourself. There's this wild twist. I think you're discovering something here. Knight of Cups. 
cups, are you discovering that you're just not even interested in somebody here, that they're too immature, that you can sidestep them? You're like bullet dodged, what a relief. Two of cups, a decision. Yeah, but you're very in tune with your intuition. I think you're gonna be happy. You're gonna make the right decision, but there might be a little bit of fear and anxiety attached, so it's hard to make this decision. But you know, I'm gonna say the Hierophant flew out for a reason. The Hierophant rules over our belief systems and our commitments. That's why it embraces the meaning of marriage. That's why it embraces the meaning of religious sex. Um, and uh, that is S-E-C-T religious groups and uh, commitments just started heating up um, yeah I think you're standing by I wouldn't be surprised if you got like the seven of wands because you're standing by your convictions page of wands but from this place of strength you're safe to open your mind are you safe to open your mind page of wands You're trying to. What's this? Three of Pentacles. What an interesting reading you guys have so far. Capricorn. You don't agree. You don't agree with um, some kind of... Page of Wands again. I think you're going to start searching for other, other people or other groups. I'm really like I feel like there's an independent strength apart from a group of people or another person. It could be a relationship. You're realizing I got my own thing. I'm going to find my people. What's this Ace of Cups in reverse? Death card. Yeah, whatever this love offer was coming towards you, you're not interested. It's over. And that means also a rebirth. So you're going to be inviting new experiences, new people. But I keep falling back on that feeling of like, I'm good with this. I kind of saw everything I needed to see to make this decision. I'm really glad that that's, my, that's not my people. I don't want that to be my people. I'm over here. Huh. The magician in Ace of Wands manifesting this passionate energy. This is an opportunity coming your way, you guys. The Wands is action. So when you get this opportunity, it can be also lust. It can be like, it can be a relationship. But it can also be an offer of a project, something you'd have to move forward with and actually requires action. You're manifesting this. This is landing in your lap because you manifested it. You're in this really positive zone of being strong in your no, strong in your boundaries. And also, that's, it's, it's because that baseline, you're not going to uh, compromise. And so the moment you say, no, I don't, I don't compromise, the universe is going to hand you what you really want. Anything else we need to know about this? The whole thing does give you a little anxiety. You might be overthinking. Just be kind to yourself. There might be some confusion, some waffling back and forth. That's totally natural. If you lose a little bit of sleep, so be it. Be kind to yourself. Take a nap if you can. Go to bed the, the following night a little early. Um, this is a learning curve. So it's a time for learning. It's a time for observing. Um, you're building something new here. All right, you guys. I'm going to get a message from the Divine Feather Deck. We're going to do an Oracle message right now about this. What does Capricorn need to know? Interesting shuffle. Going with it. Capricorn. What do they need to know about this? It's from such a confident energy. You know, it's like, have you ever, when you're a kid, had a group of friends or you're invited to a, a church or a, 
um, an outing or um, you joined a group or you went on a date even with a person and you're just like, oh, no, 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 it's not my people. There's this sense like that about this. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. That is this. You manifested it, baby. Act on it. All right. I'm sending you off with love and light. Take good care of yourself.